So I'm going to show you this uh, advanced blur package. Um, there's a whole bunch of uh, patches, 14 of them. They'll do various blurring. Um, they'll have a, a number at the end too. So it's uh, the number is the number of uh, texture sampling events that happen. Uh, so lower is better for performance and higher is better for quality. Um, so are you, oops. So this is just like a nice general, like pretty fast blur. Um, and if you need it to be even faster, you can go number five. Um, so most of these have a strength value. You can tweak the strength. Usually like five and under looks pretty good. Um, so here's radial blur. This one's pretty cool. Tilt blur, it's kind of like a fake tilt shift. So it's, it's set to vertical mode, so the, the blur is like vertical. Um, of course, you can check that off. Um, so strength is the strength of the blur, of course. Uh, so you can get it real blurry. And then hardness is the the sharpness of the gradient on the blur effect. So super hard, uh, you can't really see much that's not blurred. But if you get on there like two, it's real smooth. Um, magnetic blur, it's kind of a weird one. Um, you can see it, it like bends the light in weird ways. Um, so could be cool, I don't know. Maybe you'll find a use for it. Um, I'm going to say, like, a lot of these are pretty utilitarian, but if you play with the numbers and, like, crank them way up, they, they do some cool stuff. So um, just play around with it, um, and you can do something neat. Uh, I'm going to turn it back down. Uh, cross blur is, like, a, it's, not, it's not a too fast blur. You can kind of see what it does. It it like goes one way and then it goes the other way. So you end up with like these uh, extensions of the objects. Um, and then this has a, a value um, for angle. So you, if you want that to be 45 degrees, you can do that. Pretty neat um, kind of impressionistic look. Um, so, I mean, there's also like directional blur, which is just like one of these directions. Um, so it's like a straight line of blur. Um, and that's what powers like most of these. So I, I just threw them in here um, just in case you want them. Um, those are actually open source, but I thought they, it, it would be convenient to have them in, in there. Um, so I want to show you uh, just a, a little trick, like something that you can do with this blur stuff. Um, so like. I'll do cross blur since we're already on cross blur. Um, first, I want to show you like what what I'm actually doing. I'm just like selecting the highlights. Like you can see, my shirt stands out. Um, that's just a smooth step, and then exposure is gonna make those those highlights pop a little more. Um, and then right here, I'm pretty much checking the luminance of the pixels, and then using that to drive the alpha value. Um, cause I don't care about blacks at all. I just want the, the white values, like the brightness. Um, so we're going to punch out all the blacks. Um, and then we're going to use that as the input. So this is what it looks like at the last stage. It's a little weird. Um, just cause we haven't blended it. Uh, but, uh, I'll put that. This is just using a additive blend. Um, with the camera texture. It's going to make it blend together nicely. So you can see, actually, I have a glass cube. Maybe that will work better. Um, of course, like you can play with the values, but generally, it's like a pretty cool effect. Um, like if you want to crank the exposure up, I'd make those lines much harsher. 
Um, and then radio blur, I don't know, just for fun. Uh, I'm doing it wrong though. And you can play around with the blend mode on this too. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that uh, cool trick. What happened? Trying to get oh, screens there. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this stuff. Um, show me what you make with it. Uh, it'll be up on Gun Road. I'm not sure if I said that already, uh, but there will be a link in the description.